Hi, welcome to Michael Doyle's Barbecue. Um, it's been a while since I've done a video. I uh, haven't, just haven't filmed anything I've done in a while, so I thought I would. Uh, it's a pretty nice day outside, and I thought I would go ahead and uh, show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, be doing some ribs. Just got some pork spare ribs here. Then I'm going to be rubbing down with this Killer Hogs the Barbecue Rub. And uh, heard really good things about it. I love Malcolm Reed's videos on YouTube. And I'm also going to be using some of his his sauce here, and uh, for a glaze at the end. So yeah. And then I'm also I'm going to be trying out. I'm using my Weber Smoky Mountain today, and I bought a uh, Gateway Barbecue Rib Rack thing, and uh, can use these hooks and uh, try hanging some ribs today. It's kind of kind of like you do on the uh, pit barrel cooker. So. Yeah, stay tuned and uh, get these ribs rubbed down and and get them get them going. So she's using some uh, charcoal and some wood chunks and yeah. So stay tuned and uh, should be good. All right, guys, we're a few hours into this here. Let's show you here what we got going. You can barely see those, but you see how I got that rib rack and the ribs hanging there? Pretty cool. Going to spritz it with some apple juice and some water. And you can see down there, it's hard to see, but the water pan has been taken out and it's just dripping. The juices from the ribs are dripping right over the coal. So we get the lid back on there. And uh, so yeah, we're a couple hours into this. Probably be about a three hour cooked. Maybe not even that, because these are pretty, pretty small rack of ribs and not very thick. So. Yeah, got some uh, cherry wood in there, and uh, yeah, we're doing good. Got the vents, you can see that barely all the way open, barely cracked open, and uh, we're running anywhere from 275 to 300 in that range, so. I will uh, show you guys the finished product here when I pull them off. All right guys, I just wanna show you, the ribs are about done, and I just put those glaze on there, and I put, um, three parts of the regular Killer Hogs barbecue sauce and then one part of this vinegar sauce. And then I made this little glaze and I already glazed the ribs and so I guess I got left. Um, the glaze is probably enough to you know, do two, three racks of ribs, but I'll add some more sauce to the ribs once they're done. But they're getting very close and uh, definitely looking forward to trying out how the hanging rack, hanging rack of ribs works. and. Uh, I've kind of heard that it's kind of a different taste with those juices falling down onto the onto the charcoal and then adds a lot of flavor to the smoke. So we're getting really close, probably about 10-15 minutes away, and I'll show you the finished product. Alright guys, they are finished here and uh, turned out really good. And uh, let me show you here. Let me get the piece off. I'll show you on one of these. Kind of small ribs. But nice color. Look at that color on there. And uh, let me give you a little taste test here. A very good bite. Definitely a different flavor than you get when you're normally just smoking. I think having the juices go over the charcoal gives you more of a kind of like a taste when you're like a char taste, like when you're grilling ribs. Very good. I, uh, Definitely turned out pretty well. And, uh, probably went a little bit higher temp than I wanted and I might adjust the vents next time to make it a little bit less, uh, make the temperature go down a little bit. It was running a little over 300 degrees, so it didn't take very long for these little ribs. But uh, that rub, that uh, Killer Hogs barbecue rub, amazing. Um, their sauces are amazing. So make a shout out to uh, Malcolm Reed. And uh, yeah, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and uh, have a good day. Thanks.